That's how long I wasted on him. That's all I'm through. Albert, dear, to put it sweetly, to hell with you. That's right, to hell with you. From now on, it's just going to be me, Rosie, on the town, singing, dancing, having a ball, making up for eight years of being in love with a mama clutching ass sprint splitting six foot tower of jello what did i ever see in him how did i ever get involved that way now that it's over i can smile and say what did i ever see in him boy i was way out on a limb now that i'm safely on the ground again now that my senses have been found again what did I ever see in him? Is he tender? No, he's not. Is he thoughtful? No, he's not. Am I crazy? What's he got that I found so damned appealing? What did he ever do for me? Well, to be honest, he was sometimes nice. But still, it wasn't worth the awful price. It was rough. Why did I ever? What did I ever? Don't be upset, Miss Alvarez. All men can't be like that. Every one of them. Except maybe Albert Schweitzer. And I'm not his type. They're all the same. From puberty to senility. From Benedict Arnold to Mussolini. I never understood why Ingrid Bergman married him in the first place. Egotistical, selfish human beast. <sighs> then what are we, poor women, to do, Miss Alvarez? Use them. Let them be our playthings while we live. Sip the cup of life. We'll mix the potion full strong and drain it to the dregs. How do you like them apples, Mr. Peterson? Do we need them? No, we don't. Do we want them? No, we don't. Will we leave them? No, we won't. Tell me, what did I say that for? What did we ever see in them? How could we ever think that they were nice? Take it from us, we paid an awful price. It was rough from the start. Broken dates, broken nails, broken hearts. What did we ever see? In Hugo F. Peabody! What? Hugo! What did I ever see in him? Why? He's as bad as Mr. Peterson, if not worse. Miss Alvarez, I'm coming with you. Now, Kim, don't be ridiculous. You're only 15. Juliet was 14 when she left home. Yeah, and look what happened to her. <laughs> now, Kim, go have some milk and cookies and go to bed like too late for cookies, Miss Alvarez. I want to live. We'll, we'll sip the dregs together. We'll help each other with our potions. <laughs> Last time, Albert, I feel fine and I'm not going to bed. Conrad, be reasonable. You've had a severe shock. Now the best thing for you to do is to... Ah! There she is. The woman who stabbed me in the heart while my back was turned. Get out of my way, Albert. Be careful, Sonny. She may be on. I can handle her, Mama. You take Conrad and be sure that he gets to bed. Oh, well, wait for me, Conrad. I'll make you a nice hot cup of teramycin. For the last time, Albert, will you let me by? I am going on the town tonight, and I don't want to waste another minute. Not until I've had my say, Rose. Now I feel I should let you know that thanks to Mama's quick thinking, the kiss will take place after all. Tomorrow morning at the train station before Conrad leaves. So it looks like you've failed, Rose. As anyone must who tries to buck Al Peterson, one of, one of the giants, one of the titans, one of the King Kongs of the music industry. What did I ever see in him? How could I ever think that he was nice? Take it from me, I paid it all the price. It was rough from the start. Broken dates, broken nails, broken hearts. An empire 
cabinet builder, our Colossus! Get out of my way, you defrocked English teacher. What did I ever see in him? Rosie! Rosie, get back here! This is King Kong calling!